Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new 2023 Thor Motor Coach Palazzo 33.5 bunkhouse diesel pusher behind me. But first, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, when you're done watching this video, be sure to check out the rest of our YouTube channel here at Byerly RV. We've got fun videos, instructional videos, product videos, all kinds of stuff. We, and then be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now on TikTok, okay? And that way you can keep up with all the latest news and things going on here at Byerly RV. Now, let's talk about the Thor Palazzo motorhome behind me. So this is a 33.5, it's a floor plan. That means it is the bunkhouse model. This, guys, this is a relatively small diesel pusher. And what I mean by that is, I mean, we've got plenty of gassers out here, gas-powered coaches out here uh, that are 34 and 35 feet just like this, okay? Um, as you can see, it's beautiful full paint. Uh, we'll just kind of go around the outside and the inside like we do everything else. Uh, before I start, I will say that this is on a 300 horsepower. It's got 300 horsepower uh, Cummins uh, on a Freightliner chassis. We've got 22 and a half inch wheels and tires, which is what we'd expect on something like this. We've got uh, solid billet aluminum wheels and things like that. I'm only saying stuff like that because this is, at this price point, it can compete against stuff that might have hubcaps. So uh, something to notice there, you know. Uh, as we always talk about, it's a sum of many little things, so let's get started. Um, this is our pass-through storage. One thing that I like they do here is they've got this kind of cool tray. So I can, oops, release with that button right there. That's nice that it locks. And slide this back and forth depending on how I need to use my storage. You can see there's a couple extra pieces of floor. Uh, so this does have a nice towel floor that's individual pieces in case I need to replace some or parts of it uh, if I damage it or something. Um, this gives me access to the gravity fill for my fresh water tank. It's not uncommon to see this tank in its own little compartment right here. Uh, furnace is above that. I've got a nice outside TV with a nice sound bar, guys. I always like to talk about the sound bar because this gives you simulated surround sound, just like what you would do at home. Um, that's definitely the better way to do this. Uh, just kind of as we move along here, this is going to be a obviously a battery compartment. This compartment holds our chassis batteries and our coach batteries. So this vehicle has a set of batteries to start the engine and a set of batteries to run everything on the inside. Uh, this particular compartment right here, we won't get into that too deep other than it does house our 2000 watt inverter. And that way we don't get forget to mention then we have a 2000 watt inverter so that we can run things without having to run the generator, right? Um, nice ladder on the back, I like this. It's got a pretty low first step for ladders, so that's not bad. Uh, this is our typical, uh, the back end of a diesel pusher, where we have really radiator, we have, we're able to measure the, um, um, uh, air filter suction, we've got engine oil fill, there's an engine oil dipstick over here, transmission oil, uh, fluid dipstick and fill. I've got access to coolant and uh, I believe that is power steering fluid there. And of course, this little spot right here to plug a computer in so they can tell us what's wrong with this thing, right? Um, other than that though, not a whole lot back here, you guys, which again, this is normal. This is what I would expect back here. Um, as we move along, we've got our power. This is actually kind of nice. I can just plug my cable into the outside. I don't have to run it up through a compartment. To me, that just actually seems a little bit simpler. Um, you guys can hear our highway noise. We've got beautiful highway frontage right here on the original Route 66, which is now Interstate 44, about 30 miles out of St. Louis. When you're in the area, you need to stop by. Um, I can see that I've got, uh, looks like we've got, yep, on demand as much hot water as we need. Uh, so endless hot water. There's our def tank right there. Uh, this is a nice compartment. This compartment is our compartment that has all of our um, plumbing and things like that. So I've got a porthole right here. A little dirty in here, guys, sorry. Uh, porthole right here that I can dump out. Um, a lot of you guys may not know this, but these things right here, this swivels, whoop, just like that. So if I wanted to come up and just dump right out without having to do my whole setup and everything, I can do a quick dump. Um, which is nice. Access to the hot and cold running water system. I've got a little mini manifold system here so I can set it in the different configurations to fill my tank, to camp without being hooked up or winterize and things like that. Low point drains are conveniently located right here as is the drain for the fresh tank. And then I've got a whole house water filtration system. There's also coax right there to run like satellite in and stuff, which is nice. Um, 
This is the other side of that pass-through storage. We remember seeing that, and this side's actually larger over here with a double door entrance. We still have that little sliding trip here. I see a nice little hook up here. Oh, okay, so <laughs> I quickly unplugged this thing earlier and moved, and I just threw the cord in here, right? But it's supposed to be wound up and hung on that hook, it looks like. <laughs> so uh, next time, right? I do like this. I noticed this earlier, you guys. So above our propane tank, um, is a shelf. A lot of times where the propane is on one of these things, they literally just dedicate the door just to that and waste kind of the rest of the space. So I liked seeing that, that was pretty cool. Um, up here, this is our hydraulic pump, right? Um, that's gonna, bless you Mike, that's gonna run things. Um, and it, this, something about a hydraulic system, guys. Sealed system. Anytime you have a hydraulic system, it's sealed, okay? Which means that the fluid in this reservoir is going to go up and down as slides go in and out and things like that, and the fluid moves around. You should never need to add fluid to your hydraulic system um, unless it's got a leak. It's sealed. So Also in here was the release to release the hood latch here so that I can raise up my front hood, which gives me access to my 6,000 watt diesel generator. Okay, 6,000 watts is more than enough to run everything on here. It is diesel, so it will run forever and it uses the same tank that the engine uses, which on this one is probably 100 gallons. I can't remember off the top of my head, sorry. Details like that, it's why you check www. See, I gotta leave stuff out so you can go to the web Website, right? www.byerlyrv.com has all the specs and everything for the unit. Uh, you can call 636-938-2000 and we will happily answer all your questions, make an appointment to test drive this, this thing or whatever you want to do here. Um, nice, uh, big, obviously one piece windshield, which is beautiful. We do have turn signal activated cameras on our mirrors. We've got automatic mirrors. This is a light right here, which is kind of neat. It's kind of hard to see right now, but this gives me like a docking light. So when I'm pulling in, I can see uh, when it's really dark. And again, another compartment right here. Um, I've got my my doggy window, right? I don't even know if I'm allowed to call it that on this, but well, I can't. They own every that now that Thor Industries owns Tiff, and we call we can call them all doggy do windows. But anyway, um, this actually is nice because if I'm driving, I can see if a car pulls up right here too. Um, mid door entry on a diesel pusher. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and address that now because for some folks that's kind of weird because they're like, well, no, it's a diesel pusher. The door should be here, like a bus. Okay, that doesn't have to be that way. Frankly, when you put the door right here, it actually gives you a much better living area. Let's go take a look at the inside. Okay, so we're gonna start up front in the 33.5 and just kind of work our way back. Um, up front, we have our Freightliner. This is the new version of what they call the Smart Wheel. Um, and you can telescope this and tilt this. Uh, the uh, Allison transmission is controlled on the stalk now with the drive and a reverse just like that instead of the push buttons, which is nice. I've got a screen here that gives me my radio, my cameras and things like that. My controls for my dash air and heater below that. Things like I have a generator start and stop right up here, which is nice. I've got dash fans that I can control up here that help me blow the air either onto the windshield or blow the air back. It's got the digital dashboard, which is nice. So this thing powers up. It's got this really cool electronic dashboard here and everything. Everything's probably gonna start to beep in a second because it's not ready to go. Um, but that's just awesome. Very adjustable, very customizable. Next to that, we've got, this is our automatic leveling down here. I've got my mirror controls and things like that. Um, the things you would obviously expect, it's a very well laid out um, driver's area up here. Very comfortable. I've got a power seat and everything. Um, above me is a bed, you guys. So this, there's a little control over here. This comes down on a motor and it's got a 500 pound capacity. So it's a pretty good sized bed up here that you can bring down when you need it. That's one cool thing about this 33.5 with its bunk beds and everything like that. You're gonna see a lot of things where this is geared towards having a lot of people. And I say that because there's a lot of my clients that over the years would tell you that their diesel pusher entertains six, dines four, and sleeps two, period. <laughs> so, you know, and that's just the way it is. But with this one, it was really meant for more folks. So I've got a nice couch right here, right? And this couch is gonna convert into a sleeping area. I've got a booth dinette that converts into a sleeping area, all right? So I got three separate sleeping areas right here. We haven't even gotten to the kitchen yet. Um, also notice the seat belts here, guys. I've got front and rear facing seat belts. If you're gonna sleep a lot of people, you need to be able to seat belt a lot of people, right? And that's another area where sometimes these things are challenged. And look at this. I've got not one, but two child safety latch connections here. So these are things that have to be put in when the motorhome was built and that allows you to safely and properly use a child seat in here. Um, you can't see them here, but there's seat belts 
on this side as well. There's, let's see if I can see down here. It looks like there's, there's, there's at least two. I can't tell if there's two or three. There's at least two, but I know I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seat beltable positions minimum, maybe nine. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time digging there right now. Um, kitchen, nice guys. You know, we're, we're in a beautiful diesel pusher. It's got beautiful solid service countertops, beautiful wood cabinetry, residential size whirlpool appliances here, you guys. Um, I've got a beautiful an induction cooktop. I've got big drawers. Oh, look, there's, look at how big the drawer is. <laughs> this also holds, this is how they send things from the factory, right? Um, but I like my full extension on this drawer and how large this thing is. I can put an electric skillet or something in here. That is really super nice. Um, lots of storage in a relatively small space here because we are using space for bunks, which we're going to get to in just a second. Uh, but first, I want to stop here uh, because this is one of my favorite parts. There you go. Um, I know, right? I do that to people's phones too. No, anyway, uh, this is a beautiful little, just, I've said beautiful a lot of times in this. It's a beautiful coach. Um, I do love these control panels, you guys. This gives me, this has simplified life in RVs. I mean, this is, I've got a master on off for my lights. This is the home screen here. I can see my tanks. I can turn my water pump on and off. I can turn my generator on and off. I can instantly see my batteries right here. Um, I know I'm talking fast, but there's a lot of stuff here. I've got uh, quick access to my thermostats front and rear. And then I can go through my menus over here, access things like automatic gen start, which is easier to set up on this than anything you've ever seen before. Um, there we go. This. To set all these parameters for automatic gen start, you used to have to like practically be an engineer to do that, but now I can do it without even having to read directions, okay? My lighting page, I can dim my lights, turn them on and off. My thermostat controls for my front and my rear air and my furnace as well. I've got controls for fans, I've got slide out and awning controls, and then there's additional settings and things like that. Love the panel. Um, look, they put this tilt of view thing here to remind you to tilt it up before you put the slide in. <laughs> anyway, uh, nice GE. Oh my gosh, this is I f this is just a beautiful stainless GE. Whoops, with a nice little latch right there. GE residential refrigerator that hasn't been assembled yet. This is shipping uh, the way they ship it to us, right? Um, Nice radius walls, very nice. Uh, touch panels for things like lights and things like that. Uh, let's see, I'll tell you what, we'll do the bunks first, kinda. Um, so, currently configured as bunk beds, right? Um, this is nice, because you can like put the kids away for the night. <laughs> anyway, um, but there's, let's see, Mike and I need to trade places so you guys can see that each one of these bunks has a spot for somebody's tablet and stuff like that. They've got USBs, they've got plugs, they've even got TV connections. You can see that on top and bottom. Um, this is actually going to fold up, pin in place there, and now I got a bar here. So if I don't have anybody using this area, I can make it a really nice, awesome uh, closet. I mean, I could put a lot of stuff in here, you know? There, dig it, that's cool, right? Bonus, I see down here, look at that, size of those drawers, bonus screw right there, no charge. Um, <laughs> anyway, a couple drawers down there for the people that are in here or whatever, right? Um, before we hit the bathroom, we'll just open this because we're right here and we can. Oh, look, there you go, right? So hanging storage right here and a little bit of extra space. I think this is good for, you know, sometimes people that have the bunks don't have any space for any of their own stuff, so we got a little bit there. And then into the bathroom, swing this open. So full bath in the hallway here. Uh, with the bunkhouse floor plan, it's nice to have this mid bath because everybody has kind of equal access to it. They're not having to go into the bedroom to get to it. I see a lot of extra counter space, which is nice. I see extra storage space, a big shower, right? That is a nice big shower. Porcelain foot flush commode. So it's, you know, hey, this is a, there you go, shower miser. Everything's got a shower miser. All right, I keep saying this and I'll keep saying it. We need to do a shower miser video, we will. Shower misers are absolutely awesome, you guys. I have one myself in mine and it is just about as cool as it gets. Uh, real, well, the, the point is it helps you conserve water, big time, guys. Excuse me, I mean big time. Uh, okay, so back in the owner suite, ooh, here. So the Palazzo has stacked washer dryer 
Whirlpool, nice, man, that is cool, right? Um, tilt the view, when I, that sticker up there, it said tilt the view, so I can tilt my bed up, the TV's up on the wall up there, so that way I can relax and watch my TV better, right? Um, also, this needs to be tilted up like this before the slide out comes in. Um, lots of storage, so this is a full wall slide just about on the driver's side, and the passenger side, this is actually a slide out right here, uh, so we've got, oh, here you go, right? I can either use it as hanging or shelving, whatever I need to do here. Um, I bet you we could do that over here too, right? Same thing. And then I've got all kinds of dresser drawers below. Man, this is great. Good job on the drawers on the Palazzo, you guys. I'm really uh, impressed with the size of these drawers and how big these things are. Um, lots of storage above the bed, just everything. That's one thing, okay, so, oh, look, there you go. That's the ladder for the bunk. <laughs> um, you know, Thor Motor Coach, you guys, these guys build more motorhomes than anyone else when you add up all the different lines that they make. And they've been doing things for years, like calling customers, asking them how things are going, asking them what they can improve and things like that. And you see that in their products. You know, you walk around these products and you spend a lot less time asking yourself, why did they do that? Well, because they thought, I mean, they, they, they know why they're doing things and they've researched it um, and it shows. So uh, we're very proud to carry uh, these products. We have had the Plaza for a long time. If you are looking for, you know, when you're looking at, if you're looking at a gas class A motorhome right now, for a little bit more money, you can get a Palazzo diesel pusher that will take you up the mountains. I mean, it's 300 horse. Yeah, that's not the, the biggest, but it's also only 35 feet long. It's not 45, it's not a tag axle, you know, um, and it's for someone that's looking for something a little nicer. It is full paint, of course. So I think when uh, what I'm saying here is when you look at the bang for the buck and the additional amount of money that you're gonna pay for a Palazzo versus a gas coach, um, I think there's a lot of reasons why you should definitely take a look at this before you do anything. So uh, again, check it out at www.buyerlyrv.com. Call 636-938-2000 if you have questions or anything else. Make sure you have liked the video at this point in time. If you watch the whole thing, we appreciate that. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, click the bell icon. You'll be notified when we put up new videos like this. And don't forget about us on Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And if they come up with anything else, we'll do that too. Right, guys? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.